Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. OneNote can automatically apply simple bullets and numbering to the lists in your notebook pages as you type. You could also simply type your list first, select it, and then apply bullets or numbering afterward if you so desire. You can also change the appearance of the bullets and the numbers that you use. Let's look at the first way to apply bullets or numbering to a list, and that is to apply them as you type. You can start a bulleted list in OneNote by typing an asterisk at the beginning of the first item in your list, and then pressing the spacebar key. When you press the spacebar on your keyboard, the asterisk will then turn into a bullet point. You can then type the first line of your list. When you press the Enter key to move to the next line, it will continue the bulleted list. At the end of the list, to discontinue the bulleting, you press Enter again when finished with the list. Let's look at this. We're going to type the same information that we have in the container to the left, but we'll start a brand new bulleted list so we can demonstrate how to do this. So again, we'll start with an asterisk and the space bar. You'll see it turns into the bullet, and then you begin typing your first line. When you're done with that line, enter on your keyboard, it starts the next bullet. Enter again. And we've completed our list. If I press enter again, I'm going to get another bullet but we're done, so just press Enter one more time, and it will stop the bulleting. Now you can also begin a numbered list in almost the same way, and you do this by instead typing an Arabic or Roman numeral followed by either a period, a dash, or parentheses, followed by the spacebar key. Now, as with bulleting, when you press the spacebar key, the list will automatically be converted into a numbered list. When you press the Enter key to move to the next line, the numbering continues. And then also, as with automatic bulleting, you can press the Enter key on your keyboard again to finish the numbered list at the end. So it works in exactly the same way. We'll start a new list here, and we'll type in 1, and a period, and then space. and you'll see it continues the numbering for us here. And then we could continue on with our list and so forth. So that's how you create those lists, either bulleted or numbered, from scratch. But another common way to apply bullets or numbering is to start by typing your list first. Then you click and drag over the line items in the list in order to select the text that you want to set as either bulleted or a numbered list. Let's go ahead and do this. We have our list over here that has no bullets or numbering applied, so we'll click into that container and we will drag to highlight our entire list there. Next, click the Home tab in the ribbon and then look in the Basic Text group here. Here you can click either the bullets or numbering buttons to apply the last bullet styles that were used. You'll see here is the bullets and here is the numbering. So if I just click the bullets button, it's going to apply the bullets that were used last. Let's go ahead and undo that for now. Now you could also click the drop down arrows next to either button. Let's take a look at that right to the right. There's that little drop down. Give that a click and then select the desired format of bullets or numbering to apply from the drop-down menu of choices. A lot of these are going to look similar to you from programs like Microsoft Word and so forth, so we could click on one of those to select it and apply those bullets instead. Now, one advantage of using the numbering functionality of OneNote is that you don't have to manually number your lists, and if you make a change, such as deleting a line, OneNote will correct the numbering in the list for you, so that's a pretty handy feature. 
and that's how we apply bullets and numbering to our lists in our OneNote pages. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.